Okay, I'm going to be showing you how to use Windows Media Player to make a copy of a CD. Step number one is to insert a CD into your computer. It takes a little while for the for the program to find the CD. If you can't quite find it, what you can do is go up here to this little arrow, click on it, and you can highlight the CD drive showing it where to go. Alright, it, it automatically started playing the CD, which I didn't want. So what I'm going to do here is I go to the RIP, I'm going to choose RIP Music, And at this point, it is now ripping the music. What that means is it's taking the music off of the CD and placing it onto the computer to be used later. As you can see, this does take time. It's moving pretty slowly. My computer is kind of slow. If you have a faster computer, it would go much faster. Um, you'll notice that over here on the left-hand side, all the tracks have been checked off. So that means all 12 of the tracks on the CD will be ripped in order to be made uh, copies of later. At this point you can see that the first track is still ripping. It's only 37-38% done. So this is usually something that you can get set in motion and then uh, kind of walk away, come back later, and uh, see what's happened after it's all done. Okay, we've reached the point where ripping has been completed and the drawer to the uh, disk on the computer has popped open letting me know that it is indeed done. We're now ready for the next step. What I'm going to do is up at the top here I'm going to click on the tab that says burn files to CD. At this point what I need to do here is You'll notice that it says uh, you have a choice here as to start burn or edit playlist. What I want to do is edit playlist because what I'm going to be doing is telling it what I want to burn. Now what it does is it lists everything on here according to the title of the CD you're burning. This one is, begins with yours truly, so I'm looking for the Y and there it is, yours truly, Angry Mob. So I'll double click that and then all you have to do is click on each of the tracks one at a time and you'll notice as I click on them it goes to the burn list. So I'll click each of the tracks okay so there they are that's all 12 tracks that I want and you'll notice down on this corner here it tells you that the total time is 44 minutes 42 seconds. If you wanted to you could add more music to it because a CD does hold up to 80 minutes of music. If I wanted to for instance add more I could go back up here and I could pick anything else that I may have burned in the past and I could simply add it to the list and you'll notice down here it now says 13 items and the total time is 48.39 in this case I'm choosing not to so what I would do is I can simply go in here choose this track click the red X and that will delete it from the list so I'm back to my 12 items and 44 minutes 42 seconds so at this point I'm ready to go so what I will do is I will click OK and up here you'll notice it says insert a blank CD into the drive so I will take a blank CD that I purchased at the store take out the original CD, put the new blank one in, close it, 
And now I have to wait for the C to kind of spin up a little bit here. And at this point, I've, I'm done editing my playlist, and here's all the songs that will be burned. And at this point, then, I will just click the Start Burn button. Okay, at this point it's closing the disc down because it's finished all 12 tracks. And it's just wrapping things up. And that's it. At this point, if you wanted to make another copy, you could. You can by inserting another blank CD and uh, simply hitting the Start Burn button again. We're not going to do that right now, but that is it. You've now made your first copy. At this point, you're free to uh, take that CD, insert it into uh, any CD player you may have, and play it. It will sound just as good as the original. Congratulations and good luck.